The Maricopa County Board of Supervisors has approved paying the latest legal bill in Sheriff Joe Arpaio's racial profiling case. So far, the case has cost taxpayers more than $48 million. Cronkite News reporter Katie Beery tells us why the case is still stuck in the courts. The county is paying legal bills for the federal racial profiling case that dates back to 2007. The judge in that case has referred the sheriff to federal prosecutors for possible criminal contempt of court prosecution. Right now, the Department of Justice is deciding whether they will take up the criminal case. That's after the U.S. attorney in Arizona recused himself due to a conflict of interest. Meanwhile, the people at the center of the lawsuit are left in limbo. The flag stands for all my beliefs, you know, uh, about this nation, respect for individuals. Daniel Magos proudly remembers the day he became a U.S. citizen nearly 50 years ago. But a sheriff's deputy questioned that fact when he stopped Magos and his wife as they were driving home. And then he proceeded to pat me down my legs and up and in the groin area. And that was the most humiliating. Magos and his late wife are part of a class action lawsuit. It alleges systematic racial profiling of Latino motorists in Maricopa County by sheriff's deputies like the one who pulled Magos over. A federal judge recommended Sheriff Joe Arpaio face criminal contempt of court charges in connection with the racial profiling case. So I have to get the story out to the Hispanic people, and that's very difficult sometimes. Arpaio, who easily won his primary and is running for a seventh term in office, vows to continue his legal fight. We don't believe that there will ever be sufficient evidence for the trier of fact to find that he was guilty of criminal contempt. His lawyer is a close friend and former U.S. attorney. He's known the sheriff for decades. You know, as long as any sheriff is in there, you'll always find people that are complaining that that office did something wrong. While protesters take to the streets to complain about our Pio's practices, Magos quietly waits for justice. You know, he took uh, all my dignity and my wife's dignity, being that we were citizens. Arpaio's lawyer said they're expecting a status update the second week of October. We did reach out to the Department of Justice and they declined to comment on the case. In the Broadcast Center, Katie Beery, Cronkite News.